Do you know what makes a freshly baked roller bun even tastier? Slathering it with homemade butter. And it's easier to make than you might think. Now, making homemade butter creates a butter that's sweet and fresh tasting. And so that's why it's worth that bit of effort. Now, it does start with a full liter of whipping cream. That's 35% fat. And the process of making butter, it's about separating the fat from the liquids. Nothing else goes in but the cream, and it takes a little bit of patience. I let this whir on high speed for eight minutes, and you'll watch the butter separate from the liquids. Let's take a peek. And there we go. To ensure that your butter stays fresh, you want to squeeze out any of the excess liquid. So the next step is to wrap it in this cheesecloth. And you can see there's a little liquid coming out. You want to give it a gentle squeeze first. And then what I have is an ice bath, just cold water with some ice cubes and drop that in. This starts setting the butter, so it makes it easier to squeeze out any remaining liquid. Just tip out the butter into a clean bowl. You can, for presentation, of course, put it into a lovely dish. I love the classic style for presenting butter. Just take a spatula, like so. And how about a little sprinkle of sea salt on top? And if you're looking for something more on the sweeter side, a touch of honey, just a little bit. And then I love a little orange zest. And just stir that in. Well, this is just calling out to me to spread it on a freshly baked roll. And I have some Parker House rolls in the oven. Mm, mm, mm. Go. Oh, that beautiful steam. Oh, and you've got to be generous when you've made your own butter. What a sense of accomplishment. From simple rolls into the elegant hot cross buns, you've mastered the techniques and homemade butter on top of that. So you can take all these lessons home to your own kitchen to bake and enjoy.